My name's Lieutenant Haley Becker. I am a King Air pilot for NOAA. Yeah, I've been flying for about a year and a half now. So this is like a typical coastal mapping day in Alaska. Coastal mapping is a project where we fly the coastline and basically measure that way they can update coastal charts. We'll fly at either 7,500 or 10,500 feet. The camera will take these photos and it stitches these photos together in a mosaic. So this was actually an all-women's King Air mission. We had an absolute blast. We have, you know, 12-hour operational days, right, where we have a 12-hour window that we're allowed to work in, and then we're required to have, you know, about 12 hours off. And what that does is safety reasons, making sure that we're well-rested, that we have food, that we're, you know, not getting overly tired while we fly, right? Right now, especially for the King Air style, uh, we're usually trying to do like three weeks on, three weeks off-ish, but it can kind of, you know, plus or minus a few days on either end of that, depending on what, you know, time of year it is or what the mission or project actually is, you know, it can be longer or shorter. When we're on the road on mission, it's basically just like a normal day. We'll make the game plan the night before and then say a time to wake up and meet. Once we're at the airport, we'll go straight out to the plane and start our pre-flight. The whole pre-flight check is just a visual check that the plane is, you know, visually what we think it should be, right? And it's checked and we're able to fly it. Once that's been completed, we'll talk with scientists, make sure they know the game plan. We'll get in the plane and then we'll do our run-ups and get everything set and ready to go. And then from there, we just do a nice easy climb up into the airspace. Uh, typically, when we were in Alaska, we'd take off VFR, which is, you know, visual flight rules, which means we're taking off via what we see. This mission itself, I flew with Lieutenant Commander Colleen Conley. She was our aircraft commander. And Lieutenant Julia Waldsmith, who is our scientific operator. I actually got into the NOAA Corps to sail originally. So I was out stationed in Hawaii. By happenstance, I ended up getting one of the jump seats on the P3, so it was pretty intense. It ended up being a Category 4 hurricane, so that was kind of what drew me in. And so five years later, I'm now here at AOC. What's cool about our mission is we're pretty relaxed, right? We're not flying through hurricanes in this, in the King Air. You know, we're not doing anything too crazy. So straight and level flying usually is what we do, and we have autopilot in our plane, um, so we can basically push autopilot and use heading mode, we call it, where we can set what direction we want the plane to go and the plane will maintain our altitude for us and we just have to play with our speed. And so then our job is to monitor everything, make sure everything's good to go, make sure the plane's doing what we want it to do before we actually have it happen. I like this job because A, we get to do a lot of flying that normal GA pilots or commercial pilots don't get to do, right? So we get to fly all over the country. Uh, we get to do scientific missions, which means the data we're gathering is being uh, utilized by not only the public, but universities and the government and everything like that. So like the work we're doing is actually worthwhile. We do have to you know, transit, we call it, to areas to survey, because sometimes it's in the mountain ranges or in the fjords where, like, you can't land the plane. So some days we'll, we'll take off and we have to transit for about an hour, hour and a half to even get to our location to do the survey. And then we have to transit back. And honestly, the views are absolutely incredible, as you can tell. I mean, we're flying by mountains. We're making sure we're, we're you know, keeping safe distances from the mountains and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So coming into land, there's a bunch of like little stages and steps as you start to descend, you know, and if there's a lot of traffic, sometimes it can get pretty crazy. And so there's a lot happening. And so we have these checklists to make sure that we're, you know, following what's correct and making sure that we're, we're safe and, and doing what we're supposed to be doing. At the end, we'll taxi, make sure the plane gets all tied up, go grab some food, hang out, and probably usually go to the pool or the hot tub and just kind of hang out with each other and, and do normal, normal people stuff. So that's kind of the day in the life of uh, Noah Pilot. My name is Lieutenant Haley Bedker. Really looking forward to hopefully one day flying with all of you.